Thank you. My name is Pebalo Francis Pebolo. I am an ops guy. I work at Gulu University as a lecturer and the acting head of the department. I'm also the principal investigator for a Center for International Productive Health Training Project at Gulu University. This project is called Gulu University Section Reproductive Health Resource Center. Uh, I want to discuss about uh, use of technology in improving pre-service education in the university. Um, when we got this funding from Center for International Productive Health Training, we thought of one thing, see how we can use technology to improve pre-service education in the university. And one thing that came in our mind was to establish a studio, a, a content production studio or an audiovisual uh, studio. This audiovisual studio is meant to produce content. Um, these contents are in many forms that I will discuss later. Uh, in this studio, we have a number of input devices that help us to come up with the content. Uh, we have the video input devices, a number of cameras that are integrated into uh, a system. We have an audio input devices that is also integrated into the video uh, devices to come up with a, a very good content. We also have output devices, like we have um, the studio speaker that is used to monitor the quality of sound we have here, and then also have a screen. Uh, besides this, we also have good lighting system and also to uh, enhance the quality of sound, we were able to establish a studio-like feeling by uh, doing uh, soundproofing within the system. And uh, in this studio, we produce a number of things, including lectures that we produce here. These lectures can be in terms of uh, a, a classroom-like lecture where a, a lecturer can do uh, um, illustration or, or teaching on whiteboards and these things are recorded. We can also do a, a PowerPoint presentation which have come with a very clear sounds and very uh, good graphics. You can also do uh, an illustration using uh, other cameras that can help you illustrate things that you may not be able to illustrate very well using uh, the other audiovisual devices. We also produce uh, patients educational material uh, which is used to educate patients. And this one, we made it in, in a local context. That means that it is done in a local language so that we, we believe that many of our people actually may not speak English. Or even if it is going to be in English, it should be a local accent. Uh, in this, we can also do live streaming. We can do podcast. We can do uh, a small teleconference um, uh, meeting for a small team. Uh, the other thing that we established in the university is a teleconference facility. Uh, this teleconference facility helps us to make sure that we link uh, our people, the university, and people out there when we're meeting. And, and this actually helps a lot because you can actually have a board meeting here and a board meeting the other side, or a team meeting here and a team meeting the other side, making sure that we don't lose this very good interactive meetings that you need to have when you're doing some kind of collaborations. In this, we're able to do a number of things with these teleconference facilities. We have meetings for institutional review boards, research review boards here. And then we, we do presentations, grand rounds among students and among uh, the faculties and other people out there. We're able to do that. Uh, we have also used it for a PhD defense. And, and it has worked out very well. Uh, and, and then uh, we, we, we hope that in the near future, if we start our master's program, this will help our students to actually interact with the lecturers who are uh, our visiting lecturers, if they may not be able to make it to Gulu or to Uganda, so they can actually give uh, lectures from out. The other thing that is also very key in medical education is that through this funding, we're able to uh, establish an audiovisual simulation laboratory and we believe that this was the first simulation laboratory to be uh, established in the university and, and we are very proud of that and this laboratory we use a low fidelity mannequins but it has an option of audiovisual recording and this audiovisual recording help us in debrief and we believe that debrief 
after a skill drill is very key in reinforcing our learning. Um, to also help have a uniform content uh, given to our trainees, we decided to uh, develop a, a, a mini curriculum that is context-based. Uh, the context-based is that the curriculum that fits our setting here. And this curriculum was presented to faculty board, faculty of medicine, and they were actually able to approve that as a training tool. And, and we are proud of that. And we have already used the curriculum to train our fifth year's medical students uh, also and train the interns. And uh, through evaluation, we realized that at the beginning of each rotation, we should be able to give the training so that the students or the interns get the skills at the beginning and throughout their rotation, they are able to actually uh, uh, practice the skills and reinforce it. And that will be part of their life. Uh, we also have an interactive screen in that to enhance learning. This interactive screen help us to bring the web, what is there in our computer and the classroom together. So that means that you can actually pick something from YouTube and annotate it within the class and also pick something which was maybe stored in your hard disk in the computer and illustrate it straight away. And, and then you can also do presentation and annotation on the presentation. We believe that this has actually improved learning and we, through evaluation we have learned a lot and we, we hope we can actually make this better and better. Thank you so much for this opportunity.